started in the early 60s, 65. It was run by the uh, Minor Hockey Association for the first couple of years, and uh, in 65, 66, and then I took over in, in 68, right? And operated here through to about 81. Big thing in those days, but the lighting, you know, it was hard to get the right reflection. Right. Now they've redone it all. The ceiling is uh, white and the seats are different colors. Seats, not just bench. There were benches back then, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there was uh, all benches and, and, and it was the same size except they extended the length of the ice now. And then we, after that, we built a practice rink alongside and the curling rink, so we still have the same combination here, but it's all reversed right. for parking. But uh, yes, I spent 15 years of a good time here. Not only did I coach minor hockey, my own son, and yeah. theirs at 4.30 in the morning, 5 o'clock, there was no ice time then. And um, now, of course, you can get a little bit of ice time. But I always worked hand in hand with the Minor Hockey Association, and therefore we always got very good ice time. Yeah. You brought Junior A hockey to Coquitlam, the first person. Was that a big decision for you? Was it pretty a big investment, or uh, not so much a big investment? It was a big investment in time and in effort because at that time there was the BC Junior League, but they were in the Okanagan. They had one team in the Lower Mainland from time to time, yeah. but uh, of course the Western Hockey League uh, didn't, they affiliated with them, so they didn't want any other Junior A hockey teams in the Lower Mainland. Right. So we had to make a pretty good presentation, and we had uh, Fred Page, who was a lifetime member, and he was working with us with the CHA. We went to Winnipeg, made an application, and because of Fred, of course, uh, with all his uh, politicking and everything he did, uh, we managed to get Junior A because uh, I don't think the caliber of the hockey changed that much. Mm -hmm. The kids still played, but we wanted an opportunity for the kids to be able to play right. in the lower mainland and still go to university, go to work, do whatever they were going to 